There's more items in here that we can look into. The office items, yes. Plant on that. Here is the first element maintenance room <laughs> where we first went down with the elevator. An early version of the maintenance room. Mm. Yeah, the walls I think are different. Here is the printing machine. Placard. The point of the Stanley Parable. How the remix is to lose. It's the win. Am I going crazy? Maybe it is the same image was that clock there before. I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? <laughs> yeah, I've also looked at those clocks quite often times. In September 2012, we submitted the standard parable to Greenlight. Wolf's process of approving gains for Steam. The Greenlight space had only a series of corporate photos, which were still enough to win the community's approval. Where are these the pictures? I suppose they might have been. These are screenshots of the standard parable holderings. Yeah, screenshots. More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. Interesting. Ooh, war zone. I haven't been in a war zone. Early in development, we designed an er ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too choky and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interrupted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Okay, so it was not part of the game. Alien base. Awesome. Huh, would have been nice to be there though. Personally, at least, I would say so. It would have been interesting. Interesting indeed. Ah, oh, so many things to see. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use this in future promotional material, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Uh, how? How do I say a selection of these emails? Ah, from James Evan. Oh, the light. What do the lights in the control room do? I really want to know. Hmm. Hi, Mr. Narrator Guy, I have a question for you, sir, and it is, what is your message for today? Sincerely, Harris. From IBAT. Could you tell me what is the significance of the number 1112800? I feel like I'm hearing voices. This is kind of weird. I think I'm gonna go to the other side as well. My team. Office clock. Well, it's actually not. Uh, it's more than it was before. Post office screens from development of the post office. Yeah. Little by little created. Hmm. Now let's go here. Freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Hmm. Then here's the countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Mm-hmm. Okay. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down, with the freedom above and countdown below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down, and placed the two endings together instead. Well, maybe it's better. Ugh. A different picture though. Interesting. Why did the picture change? Because that wasn't the picture there before. 
for sure. Okay, so. Sending model. The sending went through many inter iterations. This room prevents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly before release. Sending. I'm not sure if I've been in that ending. I haven't. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the sending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Okay, so it's not actually an ending. These levers were original part of the sending. The players would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color lever they had pulled. Okay. The game is now paused. Begin the game again, resume the game, options return the menu. Escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was the very they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Hmm. Interesting. Trailers. We ran four major teaser trailers for over the course of the game development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one, released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms and the voice of the narrator informing viewers that he is preparing a new version of the standalone parable. Let's see. Filing cabinets. Tables. Shares. Is there gonna be more like, uh, you know, well, yeah, it's a different view. Hmm. Okay. Office space 512.384. Hmm. Okay. I suppose I don't need to be watching that even longer. So, what's in this direction? There's so many directions. Ah, one option maintenance launch. Di <laughs> obey, disobey, first choice. Door, one doorway to maintenance in the launch. Disobey or obey from maintenance to launch to maintenance, staircase obey. Two options. Doorway to maintenance. Obey, disobey, staircase launch to confusion ending maintenance. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you entered. Interesting. Three, one option. One doorway to maintenance in the launch and the original back on track option. The confused, the confusion ending. That is our very first ending ever. Went. What about this? Went. <laughs> uh, the flow of hallway following the first two door was important to get right, since players will replay them so many times. We discussed a number of designs, but ultimately it was the simplest version that won out. So the one option, I suppose. Meeting room items. Yes. Here's the phone. The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice leading to apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Hmm. The cargo lift. The cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. Yes, I think it's good that there is the option of falling to your death. The cargo lift. The second version is functionally the same as what's the final game, but we wanted it to look more like a place where cargo was actually stored. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Or better idea overall. The office items. Is this? Yes, this is the place that we had been before. Good. The launch, an early version of the launch. That's quite a boring looking launch. Nothing like the awesome room we have now. Ah, 427. Here we are again. Our very own office. Different versions. 
There's two computers. Hmm. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. Yes, there's no two computers. This is the way it was. Our very own office. Game design mock-up. This is the level that William, the level designer, sent David, the writer, as a kind of an audition piece. So the strength of this level got William hard to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from this mock-up is still in the game. Employee center. Mm, I'm not sure if I recognize that exactly, but... Well, not completely sure. I haven't seen this change, at least in this manner of way. Countdown room. An early version of the countdown room. Monitor room. Elevator. Yes, now we're back here. And I think we've gone all of these routes. Yes. So here's the exit. Back to the stand there. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Indeed. There is no freedom. Is there? On, off. Stanley Parable. On. What if I always say it's off? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But can they be feel felt? But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose. Okay, let's do it. Let's quit to menu. <laughs> so, we'll see what will happen when I'll start this again. So I quit the game, but I'm back now. So let's see, do we just start from the very beginning again? Possibly. It's very much a possibility. Yes. We start from the very beginning again. Hmm. I suppose. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I want to be finding the, the computer again. Mm, not sure if it's in the same area then. But I think that I want to at least see and find when out Stanley came to a set of two open doors if the, door on his the escape can be done differently or how it would otherwise end. So I will see you there soonish. Yet there was not a single person here either. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? That is indeed always when the every right question. When every you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you yes. see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Ooh, I didn't visit here, by the way. So it's good that I came here. Employee lawns, mind control facility and escape. An early version of the underground portion of the game. Well, that's way too... Well, oh, maybe that's a little bit too clear of an escape route. Though... The voice of the narrator recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Speak more loudly. Well, well, try the other one.
But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just going to make this easy on you. Then he pushed the number four. And then... When Stanley came to the bed, he traveled upward to the power source at the top of the facility to end this injustice forever. Stanley walked into the bridge. <laughs> but the narrator has been made fail. I think so anyways. Okay, I didn't visit here yet, so good that I got to visit there as well. And here a little bit of extra from the narrator. It was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Could I go down here? That would be fun. Press the button and go away. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I'm gonna take a screenshot right here. Why does it have Can to be you see? on? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But can they be fe felt? Can I feel Listen it? Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, let me your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time cho choose for you. Well, I let it. I let it crush me. So we can start from the beginning. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe there should all be something secret in here. Or is there just emptiness? Just emptiness. Are we both dead? Maybe we are. Maybe we indeed are. You should have been making your case a little bit better. Indeed. Is this it? The blackness of the game? Nothing in here. Nothing anywhere. It's all just an illusion. Just blackness. When we got crushed completely. Resume the game. The game is now paused. Begin the game again.